Hi Paint Pouring people, today is March 12th, 2018. What does that mean? Well, it was one year ago today that I uploaded my first paint pouring video to YouTube. And for years, I always knew I was going to be teaching painting. I've been painting a long time, but it, I needed a catalyst. And the catalyst was when I started pouring paint and I started joining in with other people who were trying to figure out these techniques and I noticed that people were struggling with their dirty pores. They were coming out muddy. And I came up with this idea of a way to keep colors separate. So I'm putting two colors side by side that look, look good side by side, but they don't really mix. So that was the catalyst for my first video. This was the painting that I showed that day. It's, this is a good example of red and green. They look good side by side, but they, when you mix them, they get kind of muddy. In fact, you can see where these two colors met. They start to get what, you know, what I'll call muddy. You start to gray out. I like what happened here, but if this whole painting was like that, it wouldn't be nearly as interesting. We've come a long ways in a year. Um, these paintings up here are some ones that I did a year, one year ago. A year ago, March-ish, all around the same time. And they're they were all the double dirty landscape pour. What I'm going to do today to commemorate this is I'm going to do another double dirty landscape pour. And I haven't done one of these in a while. We'll see what the changes are, how things have improved. I know all of you have improved. Uh, it's, been it's been an amazing one year journey since I started my YouTube channel. And of course I was pouring prior to that. But uh, it, it's been really interesting and I'm, I'm here because of you guys. Let me get started on this new pour today. And here's something that I wasn't doing a year ago, is putting a, a white layer down first. So I'm gonna do that today. I don't do this every single time, but when you're doing a lot of tilting, it helps to have something down, because it helps your color uh, slide around without having to work so hard at it and losing cells. So here's some white. It's just pouring medium and white acrylic paint. No silicone. Now I'm going to make a dirty pour. I've got some green in here already. Add a different green. And another green. And I always like to add some white. Makes for interesting dirty pour. Now here goes the red. See, I'm keeping these colors in the same family. They're reddish. This is more of a, a pinky red. And then here's some actual pink. So you've got the same family of colors. Add some white. These are 10 ounce cups. They're not quite full, but again, my wet white background is going to help spread this around. So here we go. The double dirty pour. You do it at the same time. This is a long canvas. It's a 16 by 20. So I'm helping this pour out instead of just dumping it in the middle. I'm helping it in advance to spread out. So we want to reach all four corners. Now here goes the tilting. See, my landscape is more abstract today, but that's okay. Maybe it's a big red mountain. All I need to do is cover this corner and that's going to be good. Okay. 
so here we are. This is this came out again. It, you never know what's going to happen. This was not what I expected. I was thinking of a the horizon line coming this way, and again, I'm calling this a double dirty landscape pour, not to be confused with more recent videos where I've done landscapes where I where I do swiping and I create a sky, etc. This is more of a of a generic term. You've got sort of a horizon line. This one is really wild. It's it's way different than any of the others I've done. Interesting though. And then of course there's always a corner that didn't get covered. So it, if you have any paint left over, feel free to hit that corner. So what I was doing a year ago was pouring with no silicone. You can see there's more cells in this one because I've started using silicone since then. Lots of cells coming up on their own. No torching. You don't need anything. Just, just tilt and you get what you get. I'm going to cover this corner. See, I dripped a little red there. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a fun part of what happens when you're working. Remember, perfect is not the goal. Again, this red dot drip that I dripped in there is, is a great example of that. There's no rules. You're just going uh, with, your, with your instincts and you're going to see what happens. So I hope you'll give this double dirty landscape pour a try one year later. And you know, I can't wait to see what the next year brings. There are so many people doing such great work now. Other YouTube creators, believe me, I know who they are. There's some really great YouTube creators out there doing pours, showing us new techniques, sharing. There's wonderful Facebook groups. In fact, the first, very first Facebook group for pouring was Let It Flow. And I want to give a shout out to Kaylee Bender for starting that group. There were 300 members when I joined in 2016 and I couldn't believe there were other people trying to figure out how to pour paint and, and try to learn these techniques. And together all of us are working on this. We're still working on this to, to this day. We're sharing techniques. It's become a great, great movement in art like nothing that I have ever seen before. And I've been an artist my whole life. So I'm really excited about our journey and again, it's, it's because of you guys that I'm still here doing videos every week and I really appreciate your support. You have supported me on PayPal. I have a Patreon page. I also have a supply list on Amazon where I get commissions. It really is helpful. You can shop all, my, all the best supplies that I have listed on Amazon. Remember, you can join my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. Um, I just started it a few months ago. For I didn't do a group for many, many months because there were so many great groups out there. But then I got so many questions that I decided to start my own group. So I'm at uh, 6,000 plus uh, members of that group right now after just a few months. And my YouTube channel is currently, at this point in time, above 61,000 um, subscribers, which I, I can't believe it because when I first started, I remember I took a screenshot of my phone when I reached 300 subscribers. I had no idea where it was going. It's been an amazing year and I'm really excited about this coming year and the year after that and we'll see where this all takes us. So check out the links below. Uh, subscribe if you're new and if you've been with me here all along, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear about your journey and I hope you s to see you over at Paint Pouring People on Facebook. I also have a merchandise page, paintpouringpeople.com, where I've got some really great uh, t-shirts and other uh, coffee mugs, other merchandise with my original designs. Those things are all uh, really great ways to help support my channel. It keeps the videos rolling and the paint flowing. And remember, there's no rules. Give it a try. Please comment. Let me know how it's going for you. And we'll see you in the next video.